Hi, I'm Tariq Siddiqui. I recently graduated from UIUC and today I'm going to present our work on learned cost models for big data systems. This work has been done in collaboration with my mentor, Alec Jinder from Gray Systems Lab and she, Kiran and Wang Chao from Azure Data Team at Microsoft. So most of the big data systems in cloud such as, such as Scope and BigQuery expose SQL-like declarative interfaces for a better user experience. These systems take user query and automatically figure out the most efficient physical plan for execution using a cost-based optimizer. Internally, these systems leverage cost models for predicting the runtime behavior of operators and select the ones with the least cost. So the accuracy of cost models is very crucial as less accurate cost models can lead to poor performance. In this work, we look at the accuracy of cost models in scope. Scope is Microsoft's internal big data analytics system, very similar to cloud offerings from other companies. This figure shows the ratio of cost estimates with the actual runtime latencies in a scope. The vertical dashed line at 10 to the power zero corresponds to ideal estimates. So the closer a curve is to the dashed line, the more accurate it is. Unfortunately, we can see that the cost estimates are both heavily underestimated as well as overestimated, showing that cost models have poor accuracy in these systems. Further, it is a common belief that cost models are less important and correcting cardinalities automatically leads to higher cost model accuracy. To verify this in a scope, we feed back the actual runtime cardinalities as depicted by the dotted lines in, in the second figure. As we can see, even after fixing cardinalities, there's still a wide gap between the estimated and the actual cost. This shows how difficult it is to model the runtime behavior of physical operators in big data systems. We conducted some experiments to understand the reasons behind poor cost accuracy. First, we observed that achieving high accuracy in big data systems requires a lot more features as well as complex transformations that are very hard to, man very hard to model manually or via heuristics. As we can see in this figure, adding more features besides the perfect cardinality and other frequently used features in traditional model, the error drops by more than half. Also, features such as parameter, input, and partitions are quite important in big data systems and lead to sharp drops in error. Another key reason is that in traditional cost models, the weights of features typically remain constant for a given operator, regardless of the context or the workload in which they occur. And they are tuned or benchmarked once in many years. In contrast to this, we found out that the optimal weights of features for operators, such as the hash join in this figure, vary drastically depending on workloads or the sub plans in which they occur. Besides, Besides these reasons, abundant use of user-defined functions, unstructured data, and fast-changing infrastructure in big data systems make it further hard to manually model the runtime behavior of physical operators. So for improving cost accuracy, we explore learned models in this work. This is motivated by two key characteristics of modern cloud systems such as Scope. First and, for, first and foremost, these systems support massive volumes of workload, which can be harnessed to accurately model the runtime behavior of queries. For example, Scope is deployed over hundreds of thousands of machines, which run hundreds of thousands of production jobs and process exabytes of data per day. Further, cloud services such as Scope are heavily shared across users and teams. Therefore, jobs running in these environments have very high degree of overlapping and duplicate computations and have very interesting recurring patterns, such as common sub-expressions that could be leveraged to specialize or instance optimized cost models. So based on these characteristics, we built Clio, a cloud-based optimizer that uses learned models for predicting the cost of physical operators during query optimization. In developing Clio, we make three core contributions. First, we propose machine learning techniques to learn highly accurate cost models in big data infrastructure and discuss the various trade-offs. Second, in big data systems, the cost depends heavily on the resources such as the number of machines. Therefore, we extend the optimizer to jointly explore resources and plan and predict costs in a more resource-aware manner. And finally, we describe how we integrate Clio with the scope query optimizer and develop a feedback loop infrastructure for developing and serving models. In the following slides, I will cover each of these three contributions. As a first step, we note that cloud workloads are quite diverse in nature. So it is difficult to learn a single cost model with very high accuracy. Instead, we try to learn a large collection of lightweight but highly specialized cost models. A simple approach is to learn a model for every common subplan that frequently occurs in the work mode. These models learn the behavior of root operator conditioned on the lower level operators in the query plan, so they capture the context very effectively. Further, 
the cost of root operators depend more on the leaf level input, so they're less affected by errors in statistics from intermediate operators. Due to these factors, we find that most of the machine learning models result in very high accuracy and runtime correlations compared to the traditional cost models. Unfortunately, there are two major obstacles in using this model. First, the model, the, these models do not cover the entire workload. Subplans not seen in the training dataset do not have models. And second, due to their strict nature, many models have fewer training samples, which often results in overfitting. So to fix these issues, we instead learn an ensemble of models capturing different types of recurring patterns in the workload. The recurring patterns belong to different points on the coverage accuracy spectrum. At one end, we have the exactly matching subgraph models with extremely high accuracy, but least coverage. At the other extreme, we learn a cost model per operator, very similar to traditional cost models, which cover the entire workload, but at a very poor accuracy. Thus, there's an accuracy coverage gap between the two extreme models. We bridge this gap by learning two additional models with intermediate coverage and accuracy. And finally, we learn, a com we learn a combined model that takes as predictions from each recurring pattern and a subset of features as inputs to output a new prediction. Overall, this ensemble of models helps us achieve both high accuracy and 100% coverage at the same time and is more robust to overfitting. You can find more details on recurring patterns, features, and loss functions in our, function in our paper. Next, we look at the resource awareness aspect of Clio. In massively parallel systems such as Scope, cost depends heavily on resources such as the number of machines allocated to each operator. As depicted in this figure, many features involving number of machines as denoted by the symbol P here lead to sharp drop in the error. However, there are two major challenges in using resources for cost modeling. First, in big data systems, query and resource optimizations are performed separately. During query optimization, resources are often assumed to be some fixed constant and are optimized later. But what we need here is a joint optimization of query plans and resources so that we can find resources that lead to optimal cost. Second, resources that lead to optimal cost can vary from operator to operator. For example, each of the seven operators in this plan can have different optimal resources. However, for execution in big data systems, operators are often grouped together into stages and those belonging to the same stage must have the same resource configuration. So the challenge is how to find optimal resource for the entire stage. To address these issues, we extend the Cascades framework with the resource context to jointly explore resources for all operators, in a, for all operators within a stage. Further, we propose two techniques for efficient exploration of resources during query optimization. One is a sampling-based approach that probes learn models for different resource configurations. However, for achieving high accuracy, we may end up making too many probes that can adversely affect the optimization time. So we also develop an analytical solution that uses simple learned cost models to find a single optimal resource configuration and helps avoid too many probes of learned models during optimizations. For, for more details on these techniques, you can look into our paper. Next, I'll describe how we integrate learned cost models within the scope query optimizer. The integration involves three parts. The first part is instrumentation and logging of query plan statistics and runtime traces. Given the logs, we analyze it and learn all cost models in parallel using our scope-based model trainer. Then we serialize the models and feedback them to the optimizer. All models for a cluster are loaded by the optimizer into a hash table and models are looked up using signatures which uniquely identify each subgraph. Finally, for cost estimation, Within the optimizer, we replace, we replace the calls to the default cost models with the learned model invocations. We conducted performance experiments over production workload as well as the TPC benchmark. For production workload, we found out that about 39% of the jobs had plan changes. Among those with plan changes, we selected a subset of jobs with substantial changes for execution. Among those executed, we found out that 70% had performance improvements while 30% had regressions. We found similar results on the TPC benchmark. Out of the 22 jobs, there were six plan changes, five of which had improvement in latency as well as the total processing time. Finally, to conclude, I summarized the key takeaways from our work. In this work, we showed that the runtime behavior of physical operators in big data systems such as Scope are very difficult to model. As a result, traditional cost models have very low accuracy and contrary to common belief, fixing cardinality estimation does not fix cost models. Massive 
Massive and shared workload and recurring patterns in big data systems help learn highly accurate cost models. Resource awareness is a key part of cost modeling in big data systems. We present the first steps towards joint query resource optimization in this work, but there's a lot more that can be done in this space. As our experiments show, high accuracy cost models do not always lead to faster plans. Achieving better plans also depends on the search strategy during querying optimization using learning-based techniques for improving search strategy is an interesting future work. And finally, there's a long road ahead for improving learned models for, for this long road ahead for moving learned models to production, uh, minimizing performance regression, predicting regressions in advance, and interpretability of learned models are some of the key steps that are very important for moving to production. This finishes my talk. You can find more details about this work in our technical report and uh, thank you for your attention.